Welcome in, everybody. This is Jeremy Russell bringing you to another episode of Rise into the Puck. Like I said, my name is Jeremy Russell, and we got a big time news bulletin to bring out for you tonight. It's not one of those. It's not one of those kind of updates that you definitely like to hear, especially going on in the NHL. But this is definitely one that you definitely do have to bring up. We have Tyler Sagan out four to six months, not weeks, not days. We got him sitting out for four to six months with a hip injury. I mean, this is definitely a really, really big time loss for the Dallas Stars. I mean, you look at what the Dallas Stars have been able to do, having such really good firepower and definitely being able to lose Tyler Sagan is definitely going to be one of those big key pieces of the puzzle for the Dallas Stars that is really going to hurt them going down the stretch. But um, if you haven't gotten the opportunity to look at the update, I'll kind of give you a, a really quick glimpse and an update about the update. I mean, Tyler Sagan is sitting third on the Stars with 20 points, nine goals, and 11 assists. And he has a plus of plus 14 rating in 19 games this season. So he's no stranger to be able to find the puck in the back of the net or just even getting points on the board. It's definitely one of those kind of injuries that you sincerely did not want to see. But Tyler Sagan has definitely been battling this kind of a injury bug that he's been kind of enduring, especially going through the past. I mean, last season, Tyler Sagan only i mean he missed 11 games because of a lower body injury and he was limited to 3 games in the 2020-21 season i mean it's definitely a devastating devastating injury to Tyler Sagan of course thoughts and prayers go out to Tyler Sagan for a quick and speedy recovery hoping everything goes well this way you don't have to miss more time with them but i mean there was there was a saying that they had in the press conference for being able to release. I mean, Tyler has been dealing with this. Like I said, I mean, he's been managing it, but I mean, this is definitely, I guess it's the time that you finally need to pull a trigger and say that you definitely need sur surgery. I mean, the stars GM Jim Neal said on Wednesday, yesterday that it's just gone to a point to where it's really his time to have surgery and it's, wear and tear on his body and of course you get the wear and tear on the body injury i mean you don't really know the time frame like i said they may have said four to six months but that's definitely just a rough guess to bit this is an injury where it's in a horrendous spot on your hip that it's not like it's on your forearms where you can definitely at least bandage it up and still try and play through it. This is definitely one of the big key pieces of your body that you're always going to be moving on. And you definitely do not want to re-aggravate it, re-injure it, even potentially make it worse. I mean, you don't want to see any big-time players out with an injury just in general. I mean, it's one thing to have them out two to three weeks, but when you get a big-time guy like Tyler Sagan, who has definitely – been able to put points out, put assists out, just get the plus rating going for the team, getting the offense clicking, and being able to see um, see the Dallas Stars perform the way they are. It's definitely going to be hurting the Dallas Stars. And like I said, from myself, Jeremy Russell, and all of us from Rising the Puck, and even on our other streaming platforms, Rising the Occasion and Rising the Red Zone, we wish you, Tyler Sagan, nothing but a healthy speedy recovery then i know he had surgery of course then everything went really well and we wish him nothing but the best but i just wanted to hop on here for all of you ladies and gentlemen that to witness a injury like this that's all that we got for you guys today on rise in the puck if you're watching on youtube make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below we always love hearing from our listeners then if you're listening to apple podcast spotify whatever your, whatever your streams on your podcast make sure to always give us that five star review make sure to always also follow us on social media social media facebook x formerly known as twitter whatever you want to call it instagram and so much more then i'm your host jeremy russell and this is rising the puck a rising to the occasion production presented by herd at sports we'll catch you next time